Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today I'm gonna to be thinning out some of these root veggies that I planted a couple weeks ago. They've sprouted and it's time to thin them out because I did overseed them just to ensure that I got a good amount of sprouting. Got some scissors, which I think is the best way to do this. And I'll bring you in so you can see what I'm doing here. All right, so I already came through and I clipped these off. These are all the carrots. So the, right now they're on their second true leaf and I left all the clippings here just because they'll break down and it's fine. Um, I did pull the clippings of these because they're big. Uh, these are the turnips. And I did that all the way down. So I've got one in each hole now here. Uh, there's a couple of them that have two, but those are all clipped. And now I'm working on the beets. All I'm doing is just clipping. Now you want some fine point scissors like this. They make some for gardening. These are actually technically for fly tying. I do a lot of fly tying uh, for fly fishing, uh, tying little fly fishing flies. So I've got these scissors. I've got an old pair here and they work just perfectly. So all I'm doing is clipping them off. Real simple, not difficult, but I wanna explain why I'm doing this. So the reason why I'm clipping rather than pulling is if I let them grow a little bit like this, I can decide which one is growing best. Problem is though, if they are too big, then their root system has developed and you yank them out of the ground, they're gonna disturb the roots of the other ones. You know, when they're really small, you can kind of just pull them before they get any big size because they don't have big root development. Like for instance, these little carrots here. I can just kind of pull those right out of the ground. There's no root development, it's not disturbing. And I'm gonna actually do that here at one point in the near future, but not yet. I'm gonna let these grow a little bit. And once they get big like this, you really wanna just kind of clip them down. So I'm looking for any that are funky shaped, like this has a stem here that is shaped a little funky. And then I wanna leave the ones with the most amount of development, basically the best starts here. And that's just basically what I'm doing here, guys. It's not very difficult. Just get something that's a little small, fine point scissor. It's gonna be a little easier to get in with these. So that's really all I had planted in this first round. I'm gonna wait another couple weeks for these little guys to get a little bigger, get the first couple sets of true leaves to see which are the better starts. And then I can thin those out as well. Well, thanks for watching everyone. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe. And also hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.